Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up a live video stream on streamingvideoprovider.com's online video platform. In this tutorial you will learn three main things. How to set up a live video broadcast on your panel, how to set up Flash Media Live Encoder and how to automatically record live broadcasts. Let's get started. You will need to go to the streaming video provider's website and log into your control panel. Once logged in you will be presented with the My Panel section. Here we're going to click on the new live broadcast button. This will automatically take us to the publishing section. In the publishing section we're going to choose our player skin. This can either be one of the pre-made templates or you can customize it to your needs. For this tutorial we're going to choose the green player template. When we have chosen our template we will go and click on the preview and generate embed code button. Now that the code has been generated we have two important items here. First is the embed code to display our live stream and player. We can simply copy and paste it to our website and the second is a full preview of the live stream and player. The preview will allow us to test out the functionality and look before we decide to publish it. Once we're happy with the look and feel of our player, we will need to go and click on the broadcast now button. This will open our live broadcast window. In the broadcast section we have a live preview of our video cast, our RTMP URL and RTMP stream which we'll need to paste into our live casting software. And we also have our start broadcasting and start recording buttons. Before we start broadcasting, we will need to install a program such as Flash Media Live Encoder to control and deliver our video service to the live servers. To install the free program, click on the Flash Media Live Encoder button. This will open our in-depth guide to the program. Now click on the Download Now button. This will open the Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder download page in our new browser tab. Here we will need to create a free Adobe account or sign in with an existing one to be able to download and install the software. As I mentioned, this software is completely free of charge and has no limitations or expiry periods. Once you have completed the download and installation, open the Flash Media Life Encoder program on your computer. In the program, you will need to set up three things. First is the media server, second is the video settings and third are the audio settings. Starting with the media server settings, we will need to copy the RTMP URL from our broadcast window and paste it into the FMS URL box. Then we go back to the broadcast window and copy the stream code and paste it into the stream box. The last setting we need to enable here is the auto adjust box and set it to the great quality. This is to ensure that your video stream will continue in case that your broadband upload speeds drop to a lower rate. Now that your media server stream is set up, you will need to adjust the video settings for our live broadcast. First, you need to choose your video service on the device list. For this tutorial, I will choose my webcam. Now you will need to set the video format to H.264 and click on the advanced settings buttons where we need to set up the profile to main with a level of 3.0 or higher and a keyframe of 5. Next, we set the frame rate interval to 25. Now you will need to choose the correct input size of your video source. We recommend using the same input size as the live stream output size. Now we need to choose our live stream bitrate. We recommend a minimum of 500 kilobits per second for good quality streaming, or at least 1000 kilobits per second for high quality streams that have a minimum input and output size of 1024 by 768 pixels. The output size should match the input size, which in our case is 320 by 240. This completes the video settings and now we will move on to the audio settings. Here we will need to choose the format which needs to be AAC or MP3. AAC is preferred as it will allow you to stream to mobile devices. This codec is pre-installed for free on Macs but not on Windows. For this tutorial we are going to choose MP3 as our format. Now you can choose your audio channels, which I will set to stereo and a sample bitrate of 44,100 Hz with a bitrate of 96. This completes the general setup for the Flash Media Life Encoder and we're ready to click on the green start button. As you can see, our video is now streaming to the video server. We can now reopen our broadcast panel, where we can see a off-air preview from our live stream. If we now place the broadcast panel onto one side, and reopen the publishing panel and place it on the other side, we can have a look at the player preview. You will see that it is currently showing a splash image and not your live broadcast. 
This is because the preview is what is actually being displayed on your website to your clients. And the broadcast window is like a control center that allows you to see your video stream and enable or disable the video feed to your website. Think of it as a door between the Flash Media live stream and your viewers. Now, if we go back to the broadcast panel and click on the start broadcasting, you will start seeing the on air sign in the top right of your broadcast preview. And if you look at the preview window in the publishing panel on your website, you can see that you are now live broadcasting your video. You can also click on the start recording button next to the start broadcasting button. This will enable the server to record your live broadcast and save them to the server for you to view later as on demand videos. There are two ways for you to stop a broadcast when you have finished with your live show. The first is to press broadcasting button in your broadcasting panel. And the second method is to click on the stop button in the Flash Media Live Encoder. Both will stop your live broadcast and display the splash image for your viewers. If you want, you can leave the start broadcasting and start recording buttons in your broadcasting panel turned on. The advantage of doing this is that you will start controlling your broadcast purely in Flash Media Live Encoder and that our service will record all of your live broadcasts whenever you go on air. It will also automatically stop and process each recording once you press the stop button in the Flash Media Live Encoder. So this concludes the tutorial on how to set up your own live stream. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more in-depth look at live streaming, please go to our video tutorial section on your website where you will find live streaming related videos for advanced users.